Now let us try some practice questions for mole conversion. You all should remember the particles, moles, mass conversion and the reverse. Let me get a sharper one. Okay, here we go. Alright, so particles means it can be ions, molecules and atoms. And how can you convert particles to moles? You have to divide by Avogadro number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. And moles to mass, if you have moles, how can you convert it into mass? You just have to multiply by molar mass. And when you go reverse, mass to moles, do the reverse. Instead of multiplying, you are dividing by molar mass. And from moles to particles, you are multiplying with Avogadro number. You have to be thorough with this conversion. And now let's see the question. Americium, if you look in the periodic table, you can see the symbol is AM. And you can find the molar mass, which is 254 grams. It's an element that does not occur naturally. It can be made in very small amounts in a device known as a particle accelerator. Calculate. This is what is important. The mass in grams of a sample of americium containing six atoms. So they gave you the particles. So what we had to do from particles, we had to convert that one into moles and then we will convert that one into mass. So we, we have six atoms here. And what we will do since we have particles, we have to go to moles. So we have to divide by Avogadro number. That means in each one mole, we have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. And now from moles to mass, how can we do that? In each one mole of americium, we found the atomic mass from the periodic table which is 254 grams and now what we will do we will ca cancel out the units from the numerator and the denominator and now we are left with only grams look at that okay and now after that what we will do is we will just take the numbers which are on the numerator six times one even if you are not writing 1, it's not a problem because it's not going to make any difference in the calculation. Divided by 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 and the unit is grams. So when you do that one, you can see that the answer is going to be 2. 254 times 10 to the power negative 23. You must have put that one in the calculator by now. Because the 6 and 6.02 will turn out to be 1. So this is in effect it is going to be 254 times 10 to the power negative 23. So the decimal is here. Now I will change that one into scientific notation by moving the decimal towards left. So it will turn to be 2.54 times 10 to the power two places back we already did that one that means we had to multiply by 2 in order to get 254 and we already have 10 to the power negative 23 that will equal 2.54 times 10 to the power negative 21 grams that's going to be your answer Okay, now let's see the next one. Aluminum is, we know already aluminum from the periodic table. The symbol is Al and you can look it up. The mass which is 27 grams. A metal with a high strength to mass ratio and a high resistance to corrosion. Thus it is often used for structural purposes. Calculate both. We have to calculate two things here. Moles and the number of atoms and they gave you 10 grams here and now look at that that's only number they have given one two three so i will write three sig fig here so my answer should have three sig fig and now 
they gave you the mass so we are moving backwards so they gave you the mass and I had to convert that one into moles and then I will convert that one into particles so mass to moles is I had to divide by molar mass so I will write that 10 grams here molar mass of aluminum we got it as 27 that is in each one mole and that equals so first since I have to calculate 2 I will split it into two calculations so 10 divided by so this is 27 grams grams and grams will cancel so 10 divided by 27 which equal 0 0.37 moles and now that is one of the answer now we will convert that one into um, atoms so since we have moles here how can you convert this that one into atoms we have to multiply by our Gartner number so in each one mole of aluminum we have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms so mole and mole cancels so that will be 0.37 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms what I will do I will just put these two numbers in the calculator so that equals 0.37 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms that means that will be 2.23 so in my answer 3 sig fig here to the power 23 atoms okay so three significant figures here that's going to be your answer now next is maintain a little more space okay so here the third question says cobalt the symbol is also given and its molar mass from the periodic table is 58.93 grams it's a metal that is added to steel to improve the resistance to corrosion. Calculate both the number of moles. Here also we have to split split the calculation moles. And they gave you the atoms. Calculate both the number of moles in a sample of cobalt containing 5 times 10 to the power 20 atoms and the mass. So two things we have to calculate. Let me get another color here. So let's see that one. Okay. So here, since they gave you the atoms, we are converting from particles. I don't want that color. Okay. So let me go with the purple. Okay. So particles, we are converting to moles, and then we are converting that one into mass. So particles, they have given 5 times 10 to the power 20 atoms. So let me take you to the sig fig now. Since it is 5.00, we have three sig fig. Okay. Okay, so here we have uh, the particles. So we have to convert that one into moles. So we know 5 times 10 to the power 20 atoms. And in each one mole, we know Avogadro number. So we have to divide the given number of particles by Avogadro number. So atoms and atoms will cancel. And we are left with 5 times 10 to the power 20 divided by Avogadro number. 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. And the unit is going to be moles. Okay. So... 5 divided by 6.02 that's the only number I'm going to put in the calculator and the other one exponent calculation is 20 minus 23 because the exponent is in the bottom here when you take it to the top it will be negative so 5 divided by 6.02 is 0 0.831 times 10 to the power negative 3 from here 20 minus 23 when you convert that one into scientific notation, 
it is equal 8.31 times 10 to the power since we are moving one forward we have to put a negative 1 and then negative 1 plus negative 3 will be negative 4 so that's going to be your answer for moles. How many sig figs are here? Three six, sig fig, significant figures. So that is matching with your question. So what are they asking now? We have to calculate the mass now. So we have the moles and we have to convert that one into mass. How can you do that? So this is 8.31 times 10 to the power negative moles. How to convert it into mass if you have moles? times molar mass. So we know the molar mass is 58.93 yeah. grams in each one okay. mole, correct? So mole and mole cancels and you will get what? 8.31 times 58.93 grams divided by 1 which is not going to make any difference. So when you multiply both, how much are you going to get is 4.89 times 10 to the power negative 2 grams. You can put in the calculator and check your answer. Let's move on to the next one.